welcome back to the waterboard channel if this is your first time i hope you'll find this and other videos of interest if so hit the like share and feel free to comment so today i'm working in horncastle in lincolnshire which is on the east coast and the water is extremely hard coming in at a shocking 360 parts per million my customer today has had two problems which has led to the kitchen cupboard becoming damaged with le due to leaks and condensation and a broken water and softener so let's take a look at the damage and see what i can do to help and before i go i'll fit a new water softener This block salt softener has come to the end of its life and been leaking in multiple places. Let's rip it out and inspect the damage that it's caused. The majority of the damage is due to condensation. Condensation is a sign of continuous water usage or a leak somewhere in the property. Water droplets form on the exposed pipes and drip onto the base. These pipes were all covered with tiny droplets of water and the mould has been growing. With the base removed you can see the damage is quite severe. The door hinges are also snapped off at the bottom where the moisture's got into there. So with the base removed I'm going to fix the plumbing and then start to make a sturdy frame. These valves are no good they're inadequate and they're restricting the flow because of the small orifice i'll renew these and remove all this big massive loop of pipe what's unnecessary what's causing condensation also with the plumbing now fixed i'm going to start making this frame and i used two before tantalized timber a pocket old jig is used to join the timbers which makes them really strong and it'll be a frame for life I'm then going to use 16mm furniture panels to lie on top of these timbers to make a really nice sturdy base because these water softeners round about 25 kilos when they're fully loaded with salt. So we really need a strong, strong base. To address the door now, as you can see, it damaged at the bottom of the cupboard, so the new hinge wouldn't be able to fix there. So I've moved the old hinge up a little bit, and then it's as good as new. It'll keep opening and closing again. The last thing what it did was seal all around the base of that um, cupboard, make sure that wa no water can get down underneath again and we've put in a 10 litre water boy you can see the new valves there as well they're full bore valves so you've got no restriction and that 10 litre water softener will do a family of four easily but this is just a couple here and they don't use too much water but in that area at 360 parts per million they get round about 1300 litres per regeneration Once again, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, press like and share. Any of the tools that we've used in this can be found on our Amazon shop. And if you're interested in water softeners, please get in touch by visiting the website listed or give us a call on 01400 288 008.